Good morning, YouTube. Uh, how's it going, everybody? Um, I have a live showdown battle for y'all today, tonight, and whenever you're watching this, because I haven't done one of these in a while. Anyways, um, I'm just gonna lead off with my sock, and he's gonna be leading off with the Golurk. It's fine by me. I'm just gonna go straight for the Ice Punch, because he should do a good amount of damage. If not, maybe take out the Golurk, and nothing on his team really can safely switch into an Ice Punch, because it'll be doing a good amount of damage to whatever he does bring in. And I do kind of want to get on my Stealth Rocks just for the Rotom and the Jinx, which are threats. Um, I also got to prevent him from getting up spikes with Garbodor, because that could be a bit problematic. And why is he not making a move? Thank you, and... Oh, wow! Okay, then. Uh, that's... That's actually really lucky of me. <laughs> uh, wow. Oh yeah, also, um, I am doing something a little bit different. I am showing both sides of the battle, because normally I only show this left side of the battle, and I don't normally ever show this chat right here. So I would really appreciate it if you guys would leave a comment down below saying on whether you would just like me to show the left side, or if you'd like me to show both uh, the right and left side, even though this is the right and that's the left. And with that Ice Punch, I get rid of a Stealth Rocker. Um... That was actually really lit on me. Um, anyways, he's gonna bring in the throw, which is actually a huge problem. And... I... Ah, I can't do anything to this thing. I think I'm gonna bring in my Tauros. And I'm gonna be able to get the Intimidate off as he does go for the bulk up, alright. I kind of just wanna go for the Toxic to force him to go for the rest. And I miss. Okay, that's fine. And Dragon Tail, and he uh, throws me out into my little Mamola, and I miss again. Okay. The toxic off. And yeah, I know he does have the uh, the rest. I'm just gonna switch into my sock. He goes for a circle throw. All right, and throws him back out to my Tauros. Um, I kind of want to go for the double edge, then again, I think I'm going to bring in my Golurk, as he does try to go for the circle throw. Alright. This turn he might want to go for the rest. So I'm just going to go for my Stealth Rocks. And no, he goes for the payback and just destroys me. Okay, good. Oh lord, please, Regice, please, please. Ah. Oh. Just barely missed out on the KO. I should have brought in Sock to knock off, if anything. Uh, this is going to be a problem now. Oh, wow, I lived. Okay, I wasn't expecting to live, but hey, that works too. I'm just going to go for the Toxic to hopefully wear this thing down. And if he wants to keep bulking up, I'm not really too worried about it. So I'm just going to go for the Wish. As he goes for circle throw again, that's fine by me. And I into my sock. Ah. And I'm just gonna go for close combat. Hopefully he doesn't go for the rest again. And he's gonna circle throw me out. Knock me out, actually. Although now I can bring in my Tauros. And just go for the safe double edge and knock out the throw. Okay, that's really good. Because with that throw gone, it's one giant asteroid out of the way. And nothing on his team, I think, can really take a hit from Tauros. Although Skunk Tank could. Sucker Punch won't be able to take me out, though. But I will have use for Tauros in this battle. So I have to be careful with it. Not to mention that I can still get up some spikes with my Roselia. And I have to get off the rest on my Regis if I want to have any use from it. So his best bet to bring in is either the Garbodor or the Skunk Tank, I believe. As he does bring in the Garbodor, okay, that's fine by me. Um, I'm just going to bring in my Regice. So I can go for the rest as he goes for the Drain Punch. Thankfully he's not going to be able to knock me out and I should be faster than it, I believe. So I can go for the rest. As Oh, wow. Um, I'm not too sure why he didn't go for the Drain Punch then. And yeah, that was a real bad misplay on his part. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go for the ice 
Thunderwave. No, no, I'm gonna go for Thunder Wave. Because I'm not really too worried about the spikes, and unfortunately he misses the gun shot. I don't think it would have been able to do much to uh, Reg Ice anyway, so I don't think it's gonna be too crucial in the long run. As I do go for this, it's just gonna go for the Drain Punch, and eventually I will win this little one on war, this little one on one bout. So I'm just gonna stand and keep going for the Ice Punch. And yeah, I can knock him out next turn before he's able to knock me out with the Drain Punch. And I guess this is where him going or missing the Gunk Shot matters because he might have actually been able to take me out before I took him out. Uh, so yeah. Then again, Gunk Shot is 70 accuracy, so you can't rely on that. But that first turn freeze was actually really, really lucky on my part because I prevented him from getting up the Stealth Rocks. Actually, that might have very well been game changing. Uh, but hey. I don't feel bad. Anyways, he brings in the Skunk Tank. I'm gonna go for the Thunder Wave, expecting him to go for the Sucker Punch, and... F wow, I just got predicted! Good lord. Um, maybe I can live a Sucker Punch? Yes! Thank you, and I can go for the Ice Beam. Wow, that does a good amount of damage. Just gonna go for one more. As he knocks me out with the Sucker Punch. Alright. And I'm just going to bring in my Tauros. Which unfortunately he does have the uh, layer of spikes up. And I haven't revealed to him that I have Earthquake, so I don't think he's going to be expecting that. So I'm just going to go for it. Fuck! Alright, after that Sucker Punch. Okay, I did not think Sucker Punch would actually do that much. And yeah, he can just bring in the Rotom. Hopefully he's not going to have Sub. And, okay, apparently he doesn't seem to have it. So I'm just going to bring in my Roselia. And he said GG. I think he, he might have actually won. Because if this Jink is sub Nasty Pot, then I lose. Wow, that did a good amount of damage. I'm just going to go for one more Sludge Bomb. Wow, wow! I'm, get, just, I'm getting way too lucky. Okay then. Yeah, this is how hacks can be game changing. Cause there's nothing... Hey man, I've lost my fair share of games to hacks. So, I don't really feel too bad. But yeah, the trick is the better play in this situation. Cause now he's freely able to switch up moves. Which might actually still win him the battle. Maybe I can live? No. Okay. It all comes down to whether or not Alan Mola can live a Thunderbolt. And with the EV spread... He crits me! Okay. Uh, yeah. DG. That was actually pretty fun. I don't, I don't feel bad. And he just left. Okay, whatever. Um, I lost due to the crit, but honestly, uh, I was getting really lucky with hacks on the end. Uh, the crit did justify him, and he was able to pull out the victory. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy the quick battle. Hopefully, the narration uh, wasn't too bad. I mean, it is 2.40 a.m., and I should really stop making videos this early in the morning. But yeah, uh, I thought it was a pretty fun battle. I did make some dumb plays, but my opponent is was good, and even through the hacks... He came very close to beating me, but it was that crit in the end that really uh, won him the battle, which honestly, without the hacks I got on him, he would have still beat me. So yeah, as I said, don't feel bad about the crit that he got on me. And uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy the battle. If you did, uh, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to some more content. And I am going to take a shower and go to bed. So yeah, uh, later everybody.